China is planning on opening a new military training facility in Cuba. China and Cuba are negotiating to establish a new joint military training facility on the island, sparking alarm in the United States that it could lead to the stationing of Chinese troops and other security operations just 100 miles off of Florida's coast. Breaking news regarding the president's son, Hunter. Hunter Biden apparently has reached a tentative deal with federal prosecutors to plead guilty to two minor tax crimes and admit to the facts of a gun charge under terms that would likely keep him out of jail. Mm -hmm. That's according to the Washington Post and court papers that have been filed as of today, Tuesday, June 20th, 2023. Hunter Biden, age 53, might appear in court to enter uh, a plea on that. Any proposal for clinical depression, Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman is back to work in the Senate chugging beer. Let's unpack the last year, shall we? This is a man who had a massive stroke less than a year ago. Then he checked into, right after getting sworn into the Senate, he was checked into the hospital for lightheadedness where he stayed for days. Then, not long after that, he went back in for weeks suffering from clinical depression, severe depression. His, can't, his office says he is on antidepressants, Nicole, yet here he is drinking beer, which at last check is a depressant. It's not a good luck. Quite uh a Juneteenth celebration near Chicago turned violent when gunfire broke out, leaving 23 people shot, including one fatality and 22 wounded. The incident occurred at a strip mall in Willowbrook, Illinois, following an evening of festivities that started at 6 p.m. Police were present but responded to gunshots around 12.25 a.m. Multiple weapons were used in the shooting, and authorities have not yet arrested any suspects or determined a motive. Victims were rushed to... Disney is just a perfect example of how woke the culture's gotten. Now, remember back in the day when we thought of a Disney princess, we thought of this. Just leave it to me. What a gown this will be. Why, it's like a dream. But Disney's reimagining the princess look. Disney now likes their princess with a mustache. I'm the princesses. I'm here to shop you around and make all your selections for the day. Look at my fairy godmother. He's so cute. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, why does that princess have chest hair? Well, little Susie, that's not Cinderella. It's Cinderfella. And that size 11 glass slipper, it shatters. And for $250, anybody can get a makeover in Cinderfella's castle. If little Johnny wants heels and lipstick, little Johnny's getting heels and lipstick. So open your wallet and a grown man can throw glitter on your son. It's what Walt would have wanted. The magic kingdom where they wave a wand and your son's testosterone disappears. So why is Someone has described what it would be like to be on the missing Titanic submarine, and it's the most terrifying thing you will have heard today. Imagine being trapped in something the size of a minivan, pitch black. The air is thick because you and four others have been breathing the same air for hours. You're trapped under 15,000 feet of water. It's cold because there is no power. You can't get up and move around. And even if you could, it would just use more oxygen. There's no contact with the outside. Every now and again, you hear the creaking of the hull caused by the tremendous pressure. You have limited food and water. The air reeks of BO. Yeah, the submarine pilot reassures you that everything is going to be okay and just to sit tight, but the look on their face whenever light is available lets you know they are just as terrified. Every so often the pilot taps on the hull with a hammer, he's sending out Morse code, hoping someone picks it up on sonar, he doesn't realise nobody will hear. Some people have already become physically sick and now the air stinks of vomit and faeces. You look at the viewing port in the bow and see water dripping down the seams. You have been told it's condensation and not seawater, so it's nothing to worry about. You start to question the person in charge. You feel the terror rising in you as you realize that this is probably it. Limited air, limited space, limited water, limited food, and absolutely zero chance of escape. Your fate depends on the outside world, and it is obvious they don't know where you are. Some cash from China, then smoke crap with a miner. Joe's memories declining. The Biden family. 
Old Hunter is a sleazebag, took bribes from Chairman G.I., shot movies of his wiener, the Biden family. Burisma. China. Bubulinski dropped the hammer Should land him in the slammer Give us four more years of mega thanks To the Biden family So where do you want to start today? <laughs> Hi friends <laughs> How about there? <laughs> Hello <laughs> What a world we're in Holy I'm shit I'm telling you <laughs> And that's just like the tip of the iceberg. No uh, <laughs> joke there uh, with the uh, the subject. But, uh, yeah, that's just the tip of everything that's going on in this uh, great country of ours. Yeah, and, uh, it's, it's a mess. Don't even know where to go. Now, that's sub. Yeah, that would be, that would just suck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I tuned in. <laughs> yeah, the submarine would suck. The submarine would really suck. I mean, like, I was thinking about this whole thing today, man. That one, you pay $250,000. To die. To die. Yeah. Now, I've seen memes already uh, about this whole thing, about the Titanic has a new exhibit and all this kind of stuff. It's sure. awful. I yeah. mean, it's too soon. Come on. We don't even know if they're alive or dead at this point. Right. Um, but it, it would be quite terrifying. Can you imagine being under there? It's, yeah, it would be horrendous just thinking about that, just not being able to see any. Like, do you ever see the movie The Meg? Yes. You know when when the first ship goes down and they're stuck on the bottom and they know something's coming, but they don't know what it is? Yeah. That's where these guys, they're waiting for something to come. They're just but, sitting there waiting, going, oh. That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And, and it's just not going to happen. It's just, you know, it's just not going to happen. And, and just to be sitting there knowing. It's probably similar to being on death row and knowing that tomorrow morning is your morning. You know, tomorrow morning. And you, you got to be sitting there just thinking, yep, they're going to stick this needle in and my heart's going to stop beating. And, you know. The terrifying part is, though, is that you don't know. You don't know how much... Did you see how this sub is run? I, I I think you told me it's run with like um an an Atari remote control or something. It literally is a like a play, they said PlayStation, but it looks like an Xbox controller to me. But it's one of the Logitech twenty dollar controllers that you get um, from GameStop or wherever. And I I, I mean, if you're, look, this is gonna sound awful. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we've talked about it before with Triv. And stuff. If somebody puts a rubber band on and jumps off a bridge and the band breaks, I, I don't really feel bad for you. Yeah. If you jump out of an airplane with a backpack attached to you and nothing comes out of that backpack, I don't feel that bad for you. Oh, don't put yourself into these situations and you don't have anything to worry about. I mean, the same yeah. thing goes for, look, I'm in the same boat. I knew the consequences of probably eating too much, <laughs> uh, drinking too much, smoking too much. Yes, Lord Moon. This yeah, is we're live. live. Um, and so, you know, I accept now the consequences of my actions. The consequences of my actions, I stepped on a nail also. I got sepsis in my leg, and um, I now don't have a right leg. So, I mean, there are consequences to actions. Yeah. If you're going to get into a submarine that's ran by an Xbox controller, with a window, and you're going to go down with only so much air available to you, and something bad happens to you, like you get caught on some seaweed, mm -hmm. I don't feel too terribly bad. I feel bad for the 19-year-old that's on board that probably was made to go with his dad. <laughs> right. And now he's fucked, but I, I don't necessarily feel that bad. Yeah. No, it, it, I mean, it, it's hard. The whole situation is horrible. I, I just can't. The irony to this thing is is the craziest of them all. The, the Titanic irony. The, the, the Titanic irony of it. It's like, now that I've heard this story, I'm rethinking my whole world. I don't think I'll ever, I don't think it's still an airline, but if it was, I wouldn't get on a Pan Am flight anymore. I don't think I'm going to ride on a United flight anymore. Um, you know, what other flights, what other airlines did they use in 
Um, American. <laughs> Amer- I won't be flying American anymore. I think I won't be getting in a plane anymore. Planes might be not the best option. <laughs> yeah. I won't be taking the, um, I don't know, the Pearl Harbor tour if I go to Hawaii. <laughs> I won't be doing that. You know, I just I just hear it and I'm just like, yeah, I, I don't want to, you know, take a little cruise to see where the Edmund Fitzgerald sank. I want uh, nothing to do with none of this stuff now. The conspiracy theory already out there. I mean, I, right. again... I said it before, I'll say it 800,000 more times. TikTok is my favorite thing known to man. Sure. Um, but last night I was going through it, and there was a video of a woman who now has a conspiracy theory that because there were billionaires on this ship, submarine, whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. minivan with flotation device, devices, <laughs> whatever it is, um, that because there were millionaires on there, whoever was controlling this thing has now floated off somewhere and have these millionaires captive until they agree to give them so much money and then they'll just float them up somewhere and be everybody alive and, and go on their separate ways. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it really is. I, I just can't even fathom any of it, you know, but to be honest, if you compare the, let's, let's just be honest for a minute. If you compare that story about the submarine to everything else that you played, that's probably the, the, the best story. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know. I mean, what's worse, being trapped in a submarine that's going to, you know, kill you or going to Disney World to get uh, Cinderella, you know, dancing around trying to kiss you? Yeah, I was, I was thinking about that, you know, too, because I saw that on Fox the other night. And I mean, Jesus, they show a, a freaking fairy godmother with a mustache. It's a dude showing these kids around with a, I mean, at least shave for the part. Well, no, he he's dressed for the part. That's the part they want now. I can't imagine. That. I am surprised they don't put him in some kind of tights with a big bulge. And see what's scary. <laughs> yeah, what's scary though is that I know from people that have worked at Disney that Disney takes their characters very very serious. Mm-hmm. Like if you break character when you're one of these Plutos or Mickey's walking around, I mean you're basically done for in the industry. Yeah, and you get blackballed in the character industry. You can't work at Chuck E. Cheese as a mouse. If you get you know, caught breaking character at Disney, and the fact that they are encouraging this kind of behavior, and I'm not putting the guy down because he's whatever he is, mm-hmm. I'm putting the situation down that a godmother should not be having a mustache and be a man leading little children around Disney, uh, because this is what I keep saying. And I said earlier today on an interview I did with the, the Lord, I said. I don't have a problem with what the hell you do. Right. What I have a problem is you're teaching our children these things. Yeah. I well, like, just like, well, it's just like that reporter said in that story. It's like, you know, this is the pl- Disney's not a place you can go where you can have Cinderella throwing glitter on your son. It's like, what? <laughs> <You know? laughs> right. And they showed little boys going, getting dressed up as little princesses and stuff. Yeah. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. No. Natalie, how big is a thing that is missing? I don't understand how things just disappear in the water. It's like literally the size of a minivan is what they described. Yeah. I'll think of how big the ocean is. Yeah. Now, but they they said the other night that they, they have already scoured like 8,000 square miles of ocean. Okay. And haven't found this thing. Now, there's only so much. I mean, the, the, so far, I think that this little thing could float. Yeah. So obviously it's probably sank to the bottom by now. Oh yeah. And there's depths of the ocean that we can't get to or haven't gone to or very few people have gone to whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And you know, so they I don't know how they Do you know you're a military guy. Do you know how far down an actual military submarine can go? I'm not a water military guy. I'm a, I'm a <laughs> My branch of the military stayed on the ground, my friend. We didn't do the water. So I don't know. I have no idea. And so I, I don't think that it's really easy to just go down to the bottom of the ocean and start. And plus, this thing could have imploded by now. Yeah, I mean, it could have crushed on its way down for all we know. All right. So that's another thing I wanted to ask you. Yeah. When I was thinking about this scenario today, you're taking this trip. You're going down to see the Titanic. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, something goes wrong. Yeah. So now you have no power in this thing. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're drifting. You don't know whether you're going up, down, whatever. Now, your choices are you also know that there's only a supply of wa- of air that's going to last for so long. Mm-hmm. 
Do you want to sit there and know that the air is running out? You're going to die. You got to go to the bathroom. You get, you're starving, whatever. Do you want to know and just sit there until you pass out and die? Or do you want this thing to implode on you and just go real quick? Well, for me, it'd be implode. For me, it's like, you know, let's just get this over with. Let's not drag it out, you know. But, you know, that comes with the consequence, too, is if you if you go for it right away, then, you know, any chance of any chance of survival goes with it, you know. There is still a chance until your last breath is taken that somebody gets down there and finds it. God knows what they're going to – God knows what they're going to – even if they do find it, how do they get it? Do they have yeah. another sub that could pull that sub up? Like a tow truck kind of thing? Right? Yeah. Call Charlie Kalani and have him back up <laughs> in the water and rip this thing out of the ground. Um, I thought they said today they were hearing banging near some of these search vehicles. They heard banging. I, I did hear that, but they couldn't confirm what it was. That was the Meg banging off the hull. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, never, you don't know what's down there, man. That thing could be yeah. eaten. Yeah, you don't know. And that's the whole thing. I, I, for some reason, half of my short videos, I get two things in shorts on YouTube. I either get the same girl doing jump rope that I've talked about a million times, that same Australian chick that does jump rope, yeah. or I get, <laughs> I get nonstop videos of sharks and orcas attacking boats. And it's like, they're attacking boats. <laughs> what do you think they're doing under, you know, Underwater. five miles under the sea where, where they're never, you know, where they're never messed with? Uh, when a plane goes down, there's an emergency signal that sends out the location. How did the summary not have something like that? I'll tell you what. If you, there are plenty of videos out there to look up about this sub because it, there's all of a sudden, you never heard about this damn thing until today mm -hmm. and yesterday. And, and there are plenty out there that show that this thing was – Whoever made this, I'm sure they spent a lot of money on it, but they didn't spend a lot of money on safety. I mean, there's like, they show the inside, there's like a button inside, like yeah, one. There's right. one green button. I don't even know what it does, but there's a green button in there. And then, again, it's ran by an Xbox controller from Logitech or something, or a PlayStation controller. And that's how they maneuver. I don't think it really goes all over the place. It kind of goes up and down. Um, and then there's a big ginormous boat that's next to it, and I don't know what the hell they're doing on there <laughs> because you'd think that this thing would be equipped with all kind of equipment to be able to maneuver everywhere and find it if it got lost, if a shark ate it, something. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Dude, these people might all be people that put in, put in money for the CPAC against Hillary Clinton. Let's not forget that. Theory. That that is absolutely accurate. They could be dead because of that. They could they could have been Trump C Packers or whatever. No, this guy's right. Trump has this up. That well, could be. <laughs> it's it's I mean, all I'm not the trying Bilderbergs. To... It's the Bilderberg group. They captured this up and took it. I'm certainly not trying to make fun of these poor people that are down there. Uh, but one, they're billionaires and they took their lives in their own hands when they decided I'm going to spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars. One, there's a window. Mm -hmm. in this damn thing and it's a very small window yeah so it's not like they're the majority of the stuff they were going to see was on computer screens so why not sit on a really big safe boat and send something down there to look at the stuff on the computer screens? yeah probably cost you less than half the money that you spent to go down underwater and you could see the same shit well i'm, I'm just going to tell you i'm not a billionaire so i can't speak on their level but i'm pretty okay with watching a documentary on the titanic I've seen plenty of them, and it's beautiful. And I guarantee you, I probably am definitely more comfortable than they are. Yeah, I guess there is a toilet. at this moment. <laughs> yeah. There is a toilet on this thing. Now, Ugh. again, they all have to pile into this minivan kind of – I did a lot of research on this. Okay. This minivan-shaped or sized sub. They all have to sit Indian style, so it's not big enough to even stretch your legs out. So now you're really screwed. Okay. And then there's a – flap that opens up that looks like a like a box that you can go to the bathroom in. Slide under your ass or something? I guess. But one, it'd be really uncomfortable to do like in front of like five other people. <laughs> well, like if that. you and I are under, we're fucked. We're not getting yeah. out of there. I mean, the, the sub right. just sank and we're done for. And if we have to go to the bathroom, everybody on that sub is screwed. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't imagine that kind of situation. Why would you put yourself into that? I don't know. I... I... Rich people do stupid things, 
because they're rich. It's the same, and, and I mean, this obviously went without a hitch, but same with the same with those people that throw a million dollars at Elon Musk so that they can go up and down in the in his rocket. Yeah, you know. And then once one of those blows up, then we're gonna then we're gonna supposed to be sad for those people. Uh, it's 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 all rich people do stupid stuff. That's what they do. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of uh, this. If you put yourself in a bad situation, you kind of take the risk and you know what's going to happen. To yeah. You. I mean, it's hard to feel bad for anybody that does something stupid. You know, truth be told, if you got beat up at Disney World on Juneteenth, that's your own fault for being stupid and being there. Now, have you ever yeah, have you put yourself in bad situations like that other than, uh, of course, arrested or military or busy military, I guess, you know, but I was 19, 18. I was I was crazy at that point. I wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't, I didn't have any life experience to compare it to. So death wasn't a fear. But now, if I had spent 25, 30 years amassing a billion dollars, there's no way am I going to risk that on some stupid ass submarine so that I can have a picture of me, you know, six miles under the water or something. It's dumb. Rich people have absolutely no dangers to worry about. So they do dumb shit like <laughs> this. To it's true. That. It's true. Well, obviously they, they had something to worry about. They're not making it back up. But they didn't worry about that. It's the same reason the people sunk on the Titanic. It's the exact same reason because there was there's no chance nothing could happen. We've taken every precaution. We're wealthy. We're rich. You know that's the right. same. I hate to put the, the two Titanics together, but it's the these are the exact same people that went down on the Titanic. Look, just that's not entirely years later. true. That's not entirely true. When they had on the Titanic, they had plenty of lower class people that were on like the lower levels of that ship, and those people pretty much died. But because um, they weren't the first ones to get on those boats, but yeah. there was a lot of uh, lower class people on, on those big ships traveling yeah. across the seas. But um, one thing that somebody said to me today was, "This is something to think about. What if, what if it was the sole dead Titanic saying, hey, you want to come down there and see us? You're going to stay with us.' Could be." That look, that's every bit as believable as as you know, the uh, the owners of this billionaire operation ran it with a joystick. <laughs> I'm not going on anything like that, or even a cruise. To many people, die or go missing on them as well. That is true. I mean, not a whole lot of people. <laughs> More than you think, disappear on cruises. Just you know, to just get thrown overboard or whatever. They were at the bottom. Those who made the whites more comfortable. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, there was a lot of violence on Juneteenth. I can't believe it. Do you want to hear some commentary? Oh, I most certainly do. All right, we're going to listen to some commentary real quick on Juneteenth violence. <laughs> So this is how we're gonna act on Juneteenth. So I already made a video on this, but then I got tagged in this video and I didn't realize what actually all happened in this interaction. And for everyone who's talking about black excellence, black pride, black this, black that, these are black children that are acting like this. Why are we just acting like it's not happening? They broke in, partially destroyed the restaurant, were throwing stuff at the employees, ripped the cash register out from the, ca the counter, <laughs> took it outside, broke it, stole all the money. This is not okay, this is disgusting. This is going to damage that community. Do you think these employees are gonna to wanna to come back to work, right? If this happens enough, that McDonald's will close down. If this continues to happen and it happens enough, that McDonald's will close down, right? That McDonald's feeds a lot of people food, coffee, all types of stuff. Keep doing this and then the opportunity for black Americans in these areas is going to disappear. Every single one of these children need to be punished. There needs to be a standard set that this is not acceptable rather than, well, let's just clean up and, and move on. No, something needs to happen. Those employees should not have had to deal with this. They were literally, you can watch them, they were scared. This behavior needs to be called out. Again, it needs to be called out. Juneteenth is supposed to be a day where we're celebrating and instead these children are looting and destroying a McDonald's. Again, I don't know how else to say this. This is a problem and we need to put a stop to it. And if you want better for the black community, this needs to stop. And we need to hold ourselves accountable. He's not wrong. He's not right. There, there's another, I, I meant to send it to you and now I don't even know where it is. 
There's a, a side-by-side meme or video of this Juneteenth McDonald's versus a McDonald's in Ukraine. And there's nothing bad going on in the in the war zone. Everybody's behaving in the McDonald's. Uh, so we're going to act like white people don't rob, rape, and kill on July 4th. Stop it, guys. Look, I'm not... Not One, if it was July 4th and I had those videos of white people robbing, raping, absolutely. doing whatever you want to talk about, I would absolutely play those videos. Absolutely. Now, the point is, is that I was playing a black gentleman talking about what happened on Juneteenth. The unfortunate part is it doesn't just happen on Juneteenth. Um, you know, Chicago is a war zone to begin with. Yeah. And whether it's the black community or whoever, people are getting shot on a regular basis there. And this kind of stuff is happening all over the country. In neighborhoods that they shouldn't be happening in San Francisco, they're robbing stores every single day. Yeah, let's call uh, it what it let's call it what it really is. What Juneteenth Juneteenth is to celebrate the deanimalization of black people to to what to American citizens. Correct. Yeah, if correct. you really break it down to the harshest and level, and and what was slavery was just the animalization of black people Treating as people less well. than human. Yes. So Juneteenth is the date that we celebrate the de-animalization of, pe- of black people in, and st- allegedly are considering black people to be people. That's what it's supposed to do, correct? Correct. That video that you just showed there of McDonald's, if you threw a bunch of wild monkeys into a McDonald's from a zoo... I don't think they would act as ridiculous as that. Do you? Look, it, it's unacceptable behavior, like that guy said. And I, get, I don't care what color you are. Me but either. The point is, is that that gentleman was calling out his own community yeah. for the way that people were acting on a holiday that should be celebrated. Yeah. On a and- holiday that's supposed to be, you know, being celebrated towards the, the black community. Right. I mean, I, I don't understand. What more do you want? And the truth be told, we should absolutely, we, white people, Spanish people, Asian people, uh, Swedish people, I don't care what nationality you are, everybody should be calling that out. And the reason it doesn't happen is because if, if you do just like me and you are doing right now, you instantly add an is to the back, of, back oh, end of your name. There are, without a doubt, people sitting there thinking that we are racist. Of we course they are. I, I guarantee you Lord Moon asking where I'm going with this, it's because he's, he's looking for the opening to say that's a racist take. And again, I I don't know I don't know that I mean he listens to the CMS so he's certainly heard worse, but <laughs> um, but what I'm saying is society should be able to call out idiots as idiots. I will absolutely call out a white guy being an idiot. Oh, you yeah. know you know you you don't hear me sitting around saying you know. There might have been some good qualities to the BTK killer because he was uh he was a good Christian and and did well, good work with his church. Now he's a piece of shit that deserves more than he got for the, for the animal he is. Sorry, that's just a universal take. And <laughs> if you missed the beginning of the show, I played a Biden song making fun of. By the way, those white people. Yeah. <laughs> My point is 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 the fact that we use race. To not call out poor behavior. We do it all the time. Any race that acts up should be called out by every race all the time. All the time. If if a white guy robs a liquor store, he should be called out with every bit of the zeal and every bit of the hope this guy catches a bullet that, that you would call the same crime out for a black guy. Just the way it should be. And we shouldn't be worried about racial disharmony the racial disharmony comes from enough of these videos that allows the moronic people to classify it into a stereotype and lord moon i don't know you but i love you for pointing out exactly what I, i've been thinking the entire day before i played that that video is that i was going to be made to be a racist because of yeah. what i'm uh, just playing the video yeah but no doubt that if there are some jackasses on july 4th and they're white doing whatever shit that they're doing, I would absolutely have that video ready to go. Yeah. I, I, I 1,000% agree. The government only celebrates Juneteenth because they don't want to approach the subject of reparations. They keep giving black people... Um, look, if you think, and again, here goes me being a racist again, I guess, 
Um, if you think I'm going to pay reparation for something that I didn't do, uh, you got another thing coming. Yeah, not um, going to happen. You know, my family didn't do it, and you know what? Um, I'm sorry that it happened. We ha- hopefully have learned from our mistakes in this country and moved on. Yeah, but I don't owe Lord Moon anything. No, nothing. Um, and, nor do and- I owe anybody else anything. I do a show that I don't make a whole hell of a lot of money on, to be honest with you, and uh, you know. Who's keeping me down? Yeah. Who do I complain bitch to because I don't have any money to go out tonight and do the things that I want to do? That's right. I, you know, I want to be, I, I'm oppressed. <laughs> and I want to, I want to know who do, I'm getting reparations from because the shit ain't working for me. Yeah. So I want some, some payback. That's right. No, I, I, I pay back for my leg being gone. Come on. I want something. Well, you, you, you're just not America. Owes. Right America doesn't owe you America shit. America owes nothing. You can Stop go out it. and do something you want. Lord moon. Yeah, nah, stop it. I think he's messing with you. I hope so. I'll cut the check. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, there we go. We have uh, Scott from 10 Ton Mojo. Yes. I'm going to take a quick break, though. Okay. Real quick. uh, All right. So we don't get too far behind. And then we're back with Scott from, again, the band 10 Ton Mojo. Mojo. Perfect. Hey, it's Seth. And I appreciate you watching today. And you can make a difference. For just $4.99 a month, you can help save someone's life today. It really does count. Every dollar matters. And you can change someone's life. Not these ridiculous dogs. Those are actor dogs. I'm talking about myself and Chris Aiken. I can barely afford a shave and a haircut. Or sleeves on a shirt sometimes. We could use your assistance today. Just go to the Odyssey app. Go to the Odyssey website. O-D-Y-S-E-E. Just $4.99 a month can change the world for someone today. Myself and Chris Aiken. We'll give you extra content. We'll give you bonus footage. We'll give you new episodes. Subscribe to the Odyssey channel today. Thank you. 